Oui C'est moi. Vous ne croirez pas ce que je viens de te rire sur mon bureau. Les pièces d'or de Zakynthos. Vous en êtes sûr Je le serai bientôt. Écoutez-moi bien. Faites très attention. Farley Colt. Imagine my surprise. I thought you were just a cop. All right, now that's all you need to worry about. I'm not worried. Ballistics will prove that Flynn and Hans shot each other. Flynn and Hans? He and Flynn. Irish, by way of Berlin. Hans Roth, Austrian. They both worked with a Spaniard, Soledad Marquesa. Who got away? Yep. Been following them for a long time. Finally caught up with them tonight, but... Uh... And why were you following them? It'd be helpful. We could talk off the record. Is this being recorded? No. I want to give you a chance to come clean. Look, this has nothing to do with you being a cop, you know? Really, I could care less. This has to do with who you are and who I am. You're not the only Grim I've ever known. In fact, the reason I'm here is because of a Grim. Tell me about the coins. Well, they're priceless. A lot of people have died trying to get their hands on them. Where'd they come from? That, my friend, is a long, long story. Tell me. Okay. Eighth century BC, gold was being mined on the island of Zakynthos in ancient Greece. Now, certain coins that were struck from that mine were stamped with a swastika on one side, signifying good fortune, and a lion's head on the other, symbolizing wealth and power. Now, this particular lion's head was the Nemean lion slain by Heracles, whose fur was impervious to attacks because it was made of gold, and whose claws were sharper than mortal swords and could cut through armor. And it would seem those who held the coins possessed a kind of charismatic influence over other men, as the Greek Empire fell. The coins found their way into the Romans' hands, from Claudius to Caligula to Nero. The coins had a devastating effect on whoever possessed them. From there, the coins made their way into China and the Han Dynasty, and then they just disappeared for several centuries until they resurfaced in the Third Reich. And we all know how that story goes. And so, after the defeat of the Nazis, the coins disappeared again. Nobody but a small handful of people knew where the coins were. Those people were your ancestors. Grims are stronger than most, not so easily affected. And they have taken great care to protect the coins. And they've been successful at it until 18 years ago, when the Grim who was protecting the coins was found and murdered. Once again, the coins were in circulation. Who was the Grim who was killed? She was a sister of the woman I was in love with. When her sister died, she left me in order to raise her sister's son. Where was this? Right back in New York. Don't keep me locked up here. I can see things you can't. <laughs> It's not enough to get you released. You need my help to find those coins. Because once those coins get a hold of you, you will fight to the death to keep them. Officer Brenner never reported back from the crime scene. And he's not responding to calls. Will you tell the captain? Yeah, I just did. Where is he? On his way to evidence. I got a positive ID on the suspect who got away. Soledad Marquesa. He's a Spanish national. I'll run it. 